all is fair in love and war zone. So on Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling War Zone returns to Spring Valley, California. And your Wrestling War Zone heavyweight champion, Vito Fratelli, is defending his championship against none other than Brandon Gatson. He's one of the best around, one of the best wrestlers in Southern California. But I'm gonna do whatever it takes by any means necessary to walk out your Wrestling War Zone heavyweight champion. And if you got a problem with it, forget about it, huh? Straight Edge Trippy makes his return to wrestling Warzone in Spring Valley. And on that night, Vato, I'll be facing my former tag team partner, Wicked Wicked, because he's looking to come to San Diego and take my WWZ Lucha Libre Championship. Now, Vato, ever since you and I won tag team gold that one time, we went on totally different routes, you see, because you went ahead and you started taking over Los Angeles, which I'll give you props for that. But when you come to the 619, when you come to San Diego, you gotta come here con permiso because this is the turf that Eddie Islas runs. So I see you at WWC on the 4th of February. Orale! Saturday, February 4th, the Wrestling Wars over returns on Anthony Idol will face Can't Stop Jamal for the international title. Jamal, it's all fair in Love and Wars on Saturday, February 4th. Dude, I can't wait to see you there. It's all going down. Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling War Zone. Spring Valley, California. I understand that I'm going to be making my big debut in Wrestling Warzone next weekend. And it's a little bit different from what I'm used to. You see, it's not going to be me in singles. No, 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 no. They got me in a tag match. Not just any tag match. This one right here. It's gonna be a number one contenders tag match. Three different teams. Kind of sounds to me like stepping into the jungle. One thing I've learned is that if you're gonna play in the jungle, you need a beast of your own. And I got my beast. In the jungle, there are beasts. And all these beasts are hungry for blood. Ready to break somebody's bone because next Saturday Ronnie and Leo are coming to wrestling war zone when you hear the numbers 810 ho oh, you already know bro that the moonlight angels will rise and whoop your asses till sunrise next Saturday I'm coming for blood somebody don't get it you know, we're only less than two weeks away from February 4th. We're only two weeks away from my debut, Mike Rain's debut in WWZ. Come on, one more time. How are y'all doing tonight? My name is Chris Nasty. I am the Lucha Scumbag. And unfortunately, due to my wrist injury, I'm not able to compete, even though I would love to. But it's all good, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? Because I look good tonight. Anyways, we have lots of action tonight. We have about three championship matches tonight. And guess what? They are all going to be bangers after bangers after bangers. Now, can we all agree and get ready for our first match? I said, can we get ready for the first match? All right, the following contest is a six-way scramble match set for one ball. Introducing first.
Welcome everybody to WWZ, All's Fair in Love and War Zone. My name is Ivanis and I'm here with... Oh, here we go. Oh, we're we're going to go. yeah, open up the, the show. We'll do intros in a second. <laughs> Way to start off a show. Six hungry, hungry competitors. Energy all around the ring. Way to set the tone for the entire show. Way to have the rest of the wrestlers have to live something to live up to for the rest of this show. I know I'm expecting some aggression here. Oh, 100%. This. They've got a brand new ring and, and scores to settle. These guys have wrestled multiple times in San Diego scene and in Southern California, so I'm excited to see what they do. What a way to break it in. Breaking a new ring with a six-way scramble. And there we go. First competitor of the night, ladies and gentlemen. The charming one, Biagio. From the walking portal, he is Charlie Piaggio Z. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, just a little caveat to this match. The winner of this match will get a title shot of his choosing later on at a time and place of their choosing. So if you didn't have to, if you didn't have enough opening up the show, you know that you have a title shot guaranteed you any shot on the roster. Loving the confidence. All right, so we got Richie Foy coming in next. Yes, yes, yes. yes. From the children part of the verses, he is a boy named Richie Foy. He was having a polite conversation with real fans. He's fired up. He's ready to go. Yeah, but can he keep a hold of that same energy when the rest of the uh, four other competitors come in and get in the ring? I mean, you got to think about the mental focus. There's a lot of people to worry about, a lot of people to focus on. Attacks coming from all sides. You never know who's going to hit you with what and when. That's right. Think about the mental gymnastics that you have to do if you're the one that's coming out last. Almost. I'd prefer to come out last. You see everybody who's already out there. You come out first, you're waiting to see who's coming out in that ring. You don't even know. Yeah, you're exactly right. Inevitably, in a match like this, you're going to have some uh, some of the guys are going to cooperate with each other at certain points. But who, how do you know who to trust? Oh, I'll this, you can't trust anybody. With a title on the line, you cannot trust anybody. You have to have eyes in the back of your head, sides of your head, bottom of your head, everywhere. From the California, he is Muggsy Cruz. All right, and as we see Muggsy Cruz coming in, you're going to see a lot of these guys pair up in, in the matches. And the fact of the matter is, you're, both of you are absolutely correct. You really cannot trust anybody, and especially when a title is on the line, you're going to see some of these great pairings during this match, but you'll see how quickly they dissolve when push comes to shove and we get down to the line. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. And Muxy comes in and he's all business. Yep, no dancing around, no yelling, no straight to the ring, no running around yelling at people. He's in there. Yeah, he's he knows what the he knows what the stakes are in this match. I don't know. Is, is he sure he's here for a wrestling match? It looks like he may have gotten the wrong sport. 
This look, it's a nice outfit, though. I mean, it looks slicking off, but, <laughs> you know. So half of our opening match is out here. We've got three more competitors to go. And like you mentioned earlier, the winner of the Scramble Cup gets a shot at the championship that they choose. And that is just a huge thing to know you've got in the back of your pocket. Introducing next, from Spook City, USA, he is RJ Sinkboy Santos! And I gotta say, this is one of my first times seeing Sinkboy, and... I, I like that he didn't use the traditional language, he came out his own way. Yeah, he did come out his own way, which is very, very interesting. Not a bad idea? Not a bad idea at all. Throw everybody off a little bit, right? Yeah. Up, right before the match even starts. I think he's going to surprise some people today. Right, he's got a great look. He looks like he's ready for business. And he got right in. As we see the stare downs beginning. Oh, Bjorn just says, anything you can do, I can do. Yeah. We see the showboating already. This is a skill. Not everybody can do that. Title match, which one do you choose? Do you go straight for the top or do you go for the one that you know you have the best chance of winning? Those are the questions. Well, my, my money's on Tsunami. I don't think he's got it this time. There's too, mi too much good talent there. Six men in the ring at one time, ladies and gentlemen. Right off the bat, let's just go at it. Tsunami, Bobby, jumped out of the ring and I'm missing. And Sick Boy, all the ring, and the three in the ring are gonna, already, go. we're gonna I, fly. Oh! oh and we I set told it you. right yeah. off the bat, yeah, ladies can't, and gentlemen. You can't trust anybody. No. Biagio showing though, he Look wants this. Beautiful, oh. two feet the top oh. row. And he takes everyone out. 
I think I found my pick. Yeah, I think I found my pick. And he's showing that he cannot, not only can he be trusted, but he cannot be taken lightly in this match. Beautiful stomp there to Bobby. He's just going right down the line. It's the best thing to do right now. Pick one and turn back in the ring and try to isolate one. You got four outside the ring. Hey, he's going. Oh, just a one counts. And you got to think the guys that are on the outside get the opportunity to go ahead and breathe there real quick. Yeah, but you don't want to catch too much for breathing. You don't want to give him a chance to. And that's nope. what we got in the last one. Big Boy in. I'm sorry, Muggsy in and Biagio. Yep, Biagio yes. brokering another alliance. Here we go. Oh, the sound. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, just a oh, beautiful spinning back elbow. And Muggsy spinning time, playing to the crowd. Too much. You don't want to be doing that this kind of a match. You want to give guys a chance to recover. You don't want to give guys a chance to think about what they're going to do and come. There we go, sick boy. Beautiful drop down. Punch to the top head. Sidekick, right hand. Nope, jucks it, picks him up. Oh, he's gonna sit him on Muggsy's shoulders. And what's he gonna do? Almost. Oh, no. beautiful. Almost like a flatliner from the from the from the seated position right there. Very beautiful, crisp. very innovative. Very, very I, innovative. I think I'm very happy with my pick for this match. And and Bobby is back in the match, and now we see. Biagio's gotta use his speed here. He doesn't want to go toe to toe with Bobby. He doesn't want to. Oh, no. yeah. and it's gonna cost there it. There it goes. Beautiful, beautiful top wrist lock right there, doing the control. It's very arm nice. Arm ringer. Yeah. Dang, Look at the strength. Throws him down from the arm ringer. Are we sure there wasn't a pull of the hair there? No, oh, not a pull of the hair. It was all hand. Irish whip. Drop down. Close over. Beautiful. Look at the leapfrog. Nice. Size for Bobby. This is the yes. close line and. That's beautiful hip toss. Got beautiful. Toss. Bobby's clean. got some momentum. He's got to keep it going, though. The guys are still outside the ring. And the pinning combination. Oh, beautiful. Got it too. Almost a, almost a version of La Maestro. Until Muggsy broke it up. But good job by Muggsy. He's got to realize that at any time one person gets the pinfall in this match, this match is over. This is not elimination. This is one pinfall. And I see Richie Coy going to town on the outside, taking out everybody that he can. And it looks oh, like big chop from Muggsy. He's taking it. And another one. Wow. Really hitting the big man. Oh. oh. Wow. Not giving in to the crowd. Not at all. Oh, beautiful kick to the midsection right there. Hey, he felt that. Oh, Richie Coy and Muggsy now. Oh, no, he threw him in the ring. Beautiful wow. neckbreaker into that DDT hey, combination. He, he says he's got no allies, Muggsy. Yeah, yeah. Well, he used him as an ally right there. But not the kind of Richie was looking for. Hey, and there's Tsunami in the ring. And there's gonna, Tsunami. Yeah. Is he going to go for it? Going for that German. Beautiful no. with German. Nope. Back no. elbow's getting out of it. One more. Muggsy taking too much time after those back elbows. Shot to the back. There goes Muggsy off the ropes. No! Beautiful spine buster! That was beautiful. Tsunami, house of fire now. Turns him around, elbow to the face. Beautiful British by Muggsy there. Beautiful. What an impact on that. Biagio's. And a drop kick from Richie to Tsunami. <coughs> and now Richie and Biagio Biagio have a... another deal. I think Biagio's oh. broken broke a deal with just about every person in this match besides Tsunami, except for Tsunami. Beautiful leg drop. That's Go smart. One. Two, wait, and he still kicks out. I'm well, telling you, both, my money's they, on Tsunami. How, who would have gotten the win on that one? That's an interesting question. They both had him covered, so I don't know. I don't know if he could even make the count. Oh, and the, that alliance has fallen apart. There it is. It all comes down to they realize what is on the line, and they can't stay on the same side because only one of them can win this match. Right hand. And they're already bringing it close. There we go. Yep. It's broken down. I hate to see a fight between friends. Oh, beautiful kick to the face from Richie. No, that was a beautiful kick, though. Arm ringer again, go behind, into a backcracker, all the arm at the back. 
Oh, wow. Richie now with all the momentum. I think Richie Coy is my pick for this match. Hey, he's been working hard the whole time he was on the outside, taking care of everybody that he could. Can he keep switching picks to be most of the match? Richie so now putting surprising. the boost to Sick Boy. Yeah. Oh, big chop. Tsunami's lost you for pizza. And you really and have to respect. He got a boot to the face instead. You really have to respect the resilience of Sick Boy. I mean, and he's been taking a beating. Yajo's got a chair now. Oh, you see the chair. He's just brokering a deal with the chair this time. And the ref didn't oh. see it. Well, the ref's got too much action going on in the ring. Sick Boy with the shot and then the, the close it in the corner to Richie Coy. There's so much action oh. going on outside the ring. Bovi and Piaggio are fighting outside the ring. Sick Boy, beautiful float over, stuck to clothesline. Go behind by, by Muggsy. Nope, misses that. Mug, no, Sick Boy, no. Look at the resilience Look of Sick this. Boy. Look at Sick Boy. Beautiful. And go behind. And, and I just one again. more time. Beautiful. 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 Sick Boy with the cover. One, two. Oh, two. So close. And when you're so close, it's like, how many more do you need to do in order to close the deal and finish the match? Well, Tsunami's back in and maybe he got his pizza. Biagio's now down. Sick Boy's the only man in the ring. Is Sick Boy going to take a risk? Well, he... He, he doesn't really have a choice. I mean, he goes outside the ring and stays in the ring and waits for to come back. There is no count Here we go. Here, Here we go. Sick Boy's going to jump. There it is. Oh, beautiful toke over the top row. Wow. Oh. Excellent done. Yeah, the second time we've seen everybody get laid out oh. by a big move. Sick Boy's the only one up. Everybody else is down. And it really shows how badly they want to be able to get their title opportunity. Sick Boy now rolls Bovi back into the ring. Trying to take advantage. Smart, smart, goes off the top rope. But oh, this is what we him. talked about, the strength of Bovi. Caught him and just oh. throws him. Oh my god, like a sack of potatoes. He threw that one in the suplex. Look at Bovi. One more. No, what the? Okay, thought he was going for an exploder again. No, look oh. at the, no, oh. look at the wow. turn. He's fighting it. No, one more. Yeah. And another throw. Beautiful. Beautiful vertical suplex, but it just ends up tossing the man. And Richie Coy oh. takes one. Oh. oh, he fell face first. And here he goes. Oh, oh. 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 Suplex. Suplex. oh, that was wonderful. That amateur wrestling background right there. The single leg takedown right into the German. I mean, all the impact. Well, he's so but powerful. Here is the other game. Man. This match with Tsunami. There it is. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh. Right on the top of what Tsunami's head. Oh, what that a was huge oh. miss. Wow. Oh. One for No Biagio. Back elbows. Oh, double leg takedown from behind. Oh, look go. at the deadlift. Look at the deadlift into the suplex. All the strength by Bovi. Wonderful. Oh, suplex him right out of the ring. At this point, he's just got to pick the one he wants and end the match, you think? Sets him up, going up for a power bomb. Six Boy holds on, fights through. Oh. Beautiful counter into a DDT. Wow. But that's what you have to do if you're the smaller man. You've really got to take advantage of the speed and the agility. Oh! oh there's my pick, Biagio. He's in there. Hey, or either boost the face or Biagio. This is anybody's match. Tsunami's back up. Biagio, super kick. Beautiful kick. Beautiful kick. Cut him right under the chin. Send Sick Boy in. Sick Boy. No, nope, no, nope, caught him. Where's he going? Grabbed him. No. Nope. Reversal. Oh, lays him out. The charming one. Picks him up. Going for a tombstone. Tombstone! And he connected on oh, it. Oh, that was wicked. Oh, but Tsunami is right there waiting for him. Goes for no float. Beautiful go behind. Ducks the back elbow. Beautiful catches him, though. That's a big man. Grabs him up. Definitely driving. Beautifully done by Tsunami. Cover! One! Can he get the three? Two! And Muggsy for the save. It's not that boy! I got a question trying to pick up Tsunami. One of the bigger men in the match, Muggsy. Oh, missing the big splash in the corner. Shell shock. Beautiful back. Beautiful neck neck breaker. Yeah, beautiful neck breaker. And he really connected on it, too. But Bovi is back in the ring, and we saw what happened last time he got his hands on people. I mean, Bovi is just a force to be reckoned with this whole entire match. Grabs the man. On the shoulders, where's he going? Oh! Wow. RKO! 
KO right there. No, sorry, Beautiful. TKO, excuse me. TKO. And Richie, Richie Boy. Boy go behind. And he holds onto the ropes. Just the clothesline. Richie's got to use that speed. Can't get caught up. Beautiful oh. lockdown. Look at that momentum. Well, he's got to keep going with the momentum. He's got to go. Oh, oh he eats wow. a knee from Sick Boy. What a knee. Sick Boy now taking the risk, going up top. That's my pick, Sick Boy right there for the win. Can Sick Boy finish it? Sick Boy. Beautiful twisty swan time. Come on. One, two, two, three. It's over. Oh. I knew I was going to pick the winner in this one. He knew it all along. Here is your winner, RJ Sick Boy Santos. And unfortunately, Tsunami was not fast enough to make the save that time. No, doesn't hair too slow. But what a great win for Sick Boy. What a so, great win over such game competition, such veteran competition. Who do you all think that Sick Boy is going to choose to be his championship competitor? Which well, one is he going to go after? I would have to look at the size and I would have to think the Lucha Championship. I mean, he could surprise and go after something like the Heavyweight Championship, but he'd be giving up a lot of size. He looks perfect to do a, a great match for the Lucha Championship. So we'll be looking for Sick Boy to face off against Kenny Eastland. We got well, Sick Boy, Sick Boy and Tsunami, we know they're from the same area. They wrestled it together. Nice show of respect. Great show of respect. Great show. Well, and he should respect it. So we'll be paying attention to the Eddie Eastless Wicked Wicked match later on this evening. Yes. But it looks like when, you know, Sick Boy here, he's going to have his hands full. Congratulations. All right, everybody. How did you think about that scramble match tonight? Incredible action by incredible talent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for our first championship match tonight? What's this? I wouldn't argue. Put that in. So, for those who do not know who the hell I am, I am Danica Ludwig. And I am here to introduce my wonderful and proud champion. Microphone. I guess Mike Rain came with his own ring announcer. What a ring announcer, too. Perks of being champion, I guess. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you talk about a man who looks like a superstar. A man who oozes charisma. A man who oozes just everything you want to see in a professional wrestler. You are looking at him in my grave. And here he's coming to defend his CCW Heavyweight Championship. Right here on WWC, all fair and love and war zone. And what an absolute treat. What a, and how nice of WWC to let him defend his championship. And what a fighting championship. He goes to other promotions just to defend his title. Right. I've been looking forward to this one. Yeah, and we, I mean, we can't underestimate uh, the, the power of Kodo Hero. So I'm excited to see what happens here tonight. Introducing the 
introducing next, from Tokyo, Japan, he is the Mountain Breaker, he is Polo Hero! Now ladies and gentlemen, evidence is right. Koto Hero is not a man to be overlooked. He is great. He has been wrestled in this team for a while. He was trained at the Santino Brothers Strength Academy. So you know he knows how to get in there. But he faces a very, very tall order tonight in trying to be thrown by Gray. If Koto's going to overcome, he's going to win this match. He's going to have to rely on his speed. He's going to have to rely on his agility. He cannot get into a straight-up power match, and he has to avoid the woman outside the ring. I think Mike Green has a huge advantage just because of that. Definitely, definitely it is. He gives him that one little extra bit, as if he even needed that extra bit. Expect to see some high-flying moves here out of Koto Hero. Koto, no, no, that's not your belt. Give it back. Koto Smart, he'll pull every high-flying move he has out of his repertoire and stay away from Mike Ray. All right. Here and we before go. I was rudely interrupted, this will be back, back out. Back out. I'm injured. This is for the Crimson Crown Championship and number one contenders match for the WWC International Championship. ready and here we go ladies and gentlemen and what an extra caveat put into the match that the, that the winner of this match will become the number one contender and Mike Ray not wasting his time on a handshake no, why, why? What, what does it mean He's not here to make friends. He's nice not kicks here to the thigh. He's not here to do anything but showcase his ability and show why he is the CCW champion. You're absolutely right. And nice kicks to the thigh again. But this Trying is what Koto big man down. This is what Koto's got to do. He's got to work on those legs. He's got to chop that tree down. He's got to get him more at his level. And he's got to use his speed. That's going to be how he gets gets through this match. You can just see in the ring how much bigger Mike Green is than Koto. Oh, he absolutely towers over him. There's there it is. Oh. Koto didn't keep away. No. Didn't keep his distance. And into the corner. Beautiful floater. This one. Oh, oh, he no. Oh, damn. No. It's too much. Walks him around the ring. Koto just runs. Ducks under the clothesline. Goes through. Grabs. Double leg. Went for an arm drag. Got a little bit of it. Yeah, he caught a little bit of it. Beautiful forearm in the shoulder, in the corner right, in the shoulder corner right there. Sorry. And he's got Mike Ray's thumb, but he's got to stay on top of him. He can't waste time. He's going to have to hit the moves more solid than that if he's going to take out Mike Ray. He's got one more. Is he going to hit one more? Charges up. Mike Ray throws him over the top rope. Koto holds on. Blocks the right hand. There's the speed. He hooks him up with the top rope. Koto now sets up. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful run on the top rope. He's got Mike Ray really. He's got it really. Beautiful drop kick. Nice drop he's got to stay on top of him if he wants to win this match. He's got to finish cover. it. One, two, three. Oh, just a one count. All of that and only pulls off a one. Elbows to the back of the head. I mean, he's got to keep doing this, and he's got to keep his, his speed if he's going to have any kind of chance against Mike Ray. He's got to stay on top of him. Beautiful back elbow right there. Got to get out of that corner. Oh, oh, he caught there again. is the power. Catches him, carries him around with ease. Oh, flatliner. Beautifully done. Oh, what an impact. Almost went for You thought he was going for a sidewalk side, but use the momentum, just pull him back and drop him right. face he first. Sure he's showing why he's the champ right now. And now this is this is where Koto did not want to be. This is that slow, methodical power game that Mike Green's going to wrestle. Right. This is what he's doing. Look, he's just he's holding just, on to the hand. Just he's not going to let him. Like. He's, he's got it locked into him. He's not going to let him go at this point. Yeah, he's no. just going to pick him apart. There it is. Look at this. Twirling the man around. Body slam. Beautiful elbow Big leg there. elbow. Yeah, he's going to finish him off with the elbow. And, and there he's wiping his shoulder off. And it's... Such as 
such a size difference here. Yeah, and, and I mean, he's just picking him apart. It is, it is just, you really see it now. Once he slows the match down, you just see how much bigger and how much stronger he is than Koto. Oh, you heard that. Everybody heard that in here. Oh, Koto's going to feel that next week. And he's on the rope. Come on, ref. Oh, but Mike Ray is a veteran. He knows he has it until the count of five. He has the five. Let that go. And he will use every single second of that five count. That's just being a smart wrestler right there. Koto's back in the corner. He's got, oh, and another big jump. He has got to get out of that corner. At this point, Mike Green is just starting to toy with Koto. He's staying close. He's staying all right oh, on top Koto of him. firing back up. Oh, reciprocated the top of his own. Koto's got some fire left. Another big shot. Three. Now Mike Ray is reeling. Koto's got to stay on top of him. Oh, and a thumb to the eye. And the ref that ends that. I don't think he did that on purpose. It was a, it, well, of course he did it you on know, purpose. You know, he was trying to hit him. He was showing the ref right there. That's what I was trying to do. Mike Ray, it was an accident. Mike in Ray, moments like this, when you have a bigger guy, look at the arm. Oh! Oh, Grab that arm to a powerball, too. That's devastating. It's so important that the referee kick, gets in there. How'd he kick out of that? Mike Ray wants a faster count, but I think that count was fine. koto has got a little bit of strength and fire left in him, but I don't know how much more he can take from this. At this point, Koto just needs to lay down and let it happen. It's inevitable. Side headlock. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There They're it is. All of it laying out, getting that extra bit of momentum right there. Look at this. Bit of weights. Making Koto fight. Just fight, grasp with every gasp of breath before he can, that he can. But Mike Ray knows he doesn't have to hurry here. He can take his time. He's clearly got the advantage. Yeah, but he doesn't want to take his time. He's not getting paid by the hour. He wants to get in and get out. Koto. Oh! Lays him out flat. Wow. He's just a machine in there. At, 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 at this point, it's just, it, it, it's just, he's just toying with He can end it any time he wants. And now he's just showing off. And Mike Rain looks very, very strong. Anytime Koto gets Going any... For the pump hand handle, handle, yes. Oh, it's... Koto's yeah, fighting he gets it. Koto's his, fighting it. Over. Look, look at this. Beautiful oh, run. Wow. Beautiful. The, the agility of the, and the leaping ability of Koto Hero. How is this happening? Goes for... Oh. Sidewalk slam. He was going for the... Nope. Two counts. He was going for the head scissors, but too much power. Too much power for Mike Green. Uh, Koto, Koto just begging for more, more hurting on this one. Yeah, you have to wonder at what point Koto just got to stay down. You know he won't stay down, but there's a point he's got to stay down. Or Mike's just going to keep taking him apart. Like with that forearm right there. Koto's still trying to fire back. Look at the, look at the forearm shot. Punch in the midsection, but I don't know if he's registering on his bike. I mean, you got to appreciate this, the heart, this. but... Is this wise? Ran into the back elbow. Koto's got an, uh, an opening here. Oh, oh, went for the oh, tornado. DDT right threw off. him right off. Oh, Look at the clothesline out of the corner. Yeah, as soon as he thinks he's going to have any kind of offense, Mike Rain cuts it off and turns it around. And this one is just academic. That this big point. clothesline. Goes for the cover. So did he waste too much time? One, two. Yes, he did waste too, too much time. Waste too much time. I don't know if that's just cockiness on Mike Rain's part, or if that is just him wanting to delay this. Well, I think like me, he just can't believe Koto's still going on on this. Like, give it up, dude. Let's get the now match over with. Now they're outside the ring. This is a dangerous place for Koto to be. Oh, my God. Uh, did you see that chair went back two feet? <laughs> And his chest is red. You can visibly oh. see it. I mean, from taking all the no. shots. Oh. oh, no. Oh. His head. He dropped that ring post. Oh, that's the yeah, ring post. Oh, that's cheating. How much damage does that do to Mike Ray's head? Hey, a all chocolate color. All the war zone, all right? Oh, there's been, he, he needs to take it to the ring. And now he's going to do the right ring when Mike Ray just did the hip. Oh, beautiful chop across the chest. There you go. Yeah, and see, that's why he's going to lose. He's going to take the time to high-five a fan. Oh, I... winds up again. That second chop was a lot harder than that first one. Now, Mike Rain realizes he's got to go back in the ring, make Koto follow him, but he's, he's in a world of hurt now. 
We need a medic. Oh, back kick. He needs a medic out here to check his hand. Just the pure power just ends all of Kodo's momentum. Trapped him with the arm again. Beautiful sit out. Yeah, it's over. It's done. Number one, two. And he kicks out again. Very that is incredible. Very nonchalant cover. Didn't even bother to hook the leg. Didn't bother to lay across and put the knee across, the leg across the throat. It's, it, I, it, this is, I think it's Red's count, Red is counting slow. He was slow to get down there, and he didn't get the three in there oh. fast enough. Mike Green thinks that Mike Green agrees with you. Yes. He's well, Mike Green has to make sure this ref actually knows how to get to three. But is he wasting too much time bantering with the ref and ignoring Cotto? He cannot give Cotto any opportunities to come back. He's trying to ensure he's having a fair matchup here. Beautiful. Look at all. Oh, oh, look wow. at the power. So strong. Made him like think it. about it and just dropped him. Cover. Still a nonchalant cover. And still a two count. And at this point, you got to think Mike Rain's getting more more frustrated, thinking, what do I have to do in order to finish him off? Well, Mike Rain's picking him back up. He might be going for those grabbing his clothes as he's getting nope. Irish whip, grabbing him for the sidewalk. No, nope. picks him up on the shoulder. Cotto gets through, though. Big security to the back of the head. That's a beautiful kick. Mike Rain is stunned. This is Cotto's opportunity. He's got a chance. Is it now? Forearm to the shoulder, into the corner. One more beautiful leaping kick to catch the right underneath the chin. Kodo's going for a tornado DDT, and he plants him! This is his chance, if he's gonna do anything, if this is his time, if he's gonna get the win, this is it right now. Can he finish Rolls him? Rolls the big man over, turn, and two, two. No, oh, two and count! This close! He took way too long, and that's why he's not Whip gonna win this match. It's, he took way too long to make that pin, and that's that shows the inexperience compared to Mike Rain. Mike Rain has the clear advantage because he knows what he's doing. That's why he's the champ. There is so much power there. It was you saw how much of a chore it was for Koto to to hook that huge man's leg and hold it. And think of all the credit that he's taking in this match. The fact that he's still going is amazing. The crowd is clearly behind Koto as well. Well, he's got a lot of heart. Look at the top of the throat. It's in there. Oh, that made me dizzy. <laughs> oh, he went all the way around with that one. Got him in the corner. Beautiful knee to the midsection. Maybe chest. Koto's not picking him up. Grab him by the head. Where is he going with him? Face plant. Beautiful bulldog. Look at that bulldog face plant. But can he finish him? Yeah, he's This is where he's got to follow up. As he wasn't, he's not making the pin. <coughs> well, he's taking so much punishment. Yeah. He, everything. Everything he does now is almost the last reserve of his energy. And how much more does he have? Where is he going to get what he, what he, what he can to defeat this man? And he's pointing to the top ropes. It looks like he's going to take a risk. Can he finish it? Can he do it? Well, he needs to stop worrying about her outside the ring. All the way to the top and of the ring. Oh, oh. oh, you got caught up there. So disappointing. He and took. These are those high. Once again, he took too long. These are those high risk moves. They are make or break. He took the risk Mike and it's not it. paying off. Big suplex. Here we calling go. Calling for it. He's going for something. And he's holding. Oh, no. Shots to the base section. section. Big shots. Yeah. Not to the back. Precarious position up there. Headbutt. Headbutt. Knocks right. Finally, Mike knocks right wing down. Slowly back to his Kodos perch. Kodos waiting on him. Wow. Look at the strength. Tosses him like a small child. Kick to the midsection. Picks him up. Look at this. Beautiful slam. That has got to be it. Cover one, two. two. No, and Kono Hero kicks out. How is he kicking out? At this point, it's got to be sheer willpower. It's got to be sheer instinct. Mike Ray's been. No, Mike Ray. He said he's going to finish it. Oh, oh no. Left empty handed. Going for an almost a. A, a jump, a leaping, oh, beautiful shining wizard right there off the miss splash. Very crisp Cotto. shining wizard. One, one two, upset, upset. Oh, oh two, he only. couldn't do it. Mike Rain's not going out that easy. What does he have to do to finish Mike Rain? Look at that, he's pleading with the ref now. He's trying to influence the official. Well, I don't know if he can do that. Kodo's, he has been 
fighting this entire match. He, the fight, the resolution he's shown has been amazing. Koto now, kicks, big kicks. Kicks to the midsection, there it is. Look at those kicks. Mike Ray trying to cover up. Nope, Doug Dunner, grab him, pump handle. handle. Where's he going? Oh, 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 and he oh, got it. This one's over. One, it is two, done. Three. It is oh. done. What a match. Wow. Here's your winner and still. Someone get a spatula. Kodo needs to get out of the ring. Number one contender for the international champion, Mike Ray. Joined by Koto Hero. Koto Hero really left it all on the line right there. But as we said before, the power, the strength, the experience of Mike Ray really came through and really showed through. And Koto Hero gave a valiant effort, but it wasn't enough to stop the CCW champion, Mike Ray. And now, your new number one contender to the international championship as well. So you've got to wonder, will he be adding a second belt to his collection? My guess is yes. If this match is any indication, just seeing that offense by Mike Green, uh, who's going to stop him? If I'm the international champion, I have been watching this match very, very closely. That's nice of the fans to comfort Kodo as he leaves the ring. Yeah, it's a good of Kodo to acknowledge the fans. He's really gave it his all. They have really shown that he and they, they appreciate that he went out there and laid everything on the line. It was playing crap, it wasn't over. Wasn't it? Once again, I'm your host, Chris Nasty here tonight. And let's get ready for our next match. This is once again a three-way tag team match. Set for one fall. Introducing first. Say. People should listen. 
following directions here. Title match. I guess. Impromptu Beyonce announcement on this one. Now. Whoop. Oh. Whoop. So this would be a title match now. This is a title match. Oh, now, ladies and gentlemen. Hell Hellas is taking home the titles. Well, it's a little too premature to be saying that. Oh, clearly. Rocky 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 They seem a little thrilled that this is going to be for a title shot now. The stakes, have, sure the stakes have gone up quite a bit in this match. And that's what it is. Now that the stakes are higher, let's see how they perform. I mean, I've seen TM, TMD wrestle. I haven't. I have not. Oh, no. Oh, Ellis. Oh, Ellis. Oh, there we go. There we go. The match. Ellis is all over him. This is the aggression you need if you want to be a champion. And the block is doing nope. his They're just watching. And the block is not even ready to get involved. Well, why? Then there's no reason to. Let the other two teams beat the hell out of each other. Oh. Oh, here it goes. Oh. Ellis has something to say about that. Rick went for a cannonball sent off of the middle ropes. Almost caught him. Caught, it looks like he caught the apron. Yeah, caught a little bit of the ring ropes in the apron, but seems to be okay. Ellis is a fighter. He's been in this game a long, long time. Very so has Hellman. And look at Rick. Oh! Big headbutt. Benoit style. He's, already he's, a, cover. he's a veteran. He's a, with an intense offense. Oh, look at that. Big knee to the face. And Rock and Rody are completely out of this match at this point. Why are they why are they even here? I think they're grabbing snacks. Oh, well, they're grabbing snacks. Hellas and the blocker in the ring, still trying to earn the winner now we've found out is the WWE Tag Team title match. And Helmet choking. Beautiful road with the shoulder blocks into the corner. And such great news that this, this is and the title match. We should be thanking Enoch for announcing oh, that for us. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh! And there's the block with the first show of offense in this match. He's going to cave his chest in with that. Ref, where is Rock and Rodeo? Where's the ref with the count of the corner? Oh, and look at the power! Rock and Rodeo are just kind of watching, I think, Rock and they're just hanging out. They're going to sit in the stands. They're having some nachos. I and think. They did go to the snack bar. I think they've real. I think they've realized that uh, they're really not going to be impactful in this match. So they might as well just sit down and watch. You know, you know, I don't know why. But he should be concerned with his with his team in the ring. His team in the ring is in enough trouble. And the block has Ellis in the corner, and there they go. Clean tag. Beautiful tag tag work right there for the block. Oh, in the corner. Beautiful art on the top. Helmet in all kinds of trouble trying to get to Rick. Enoch, uh, I don't think Enoch can be tagged in. Meanwhile, I think Rock and Rodeo will be getting this match after they finish the matches. Into the ropes he goes. And he got a beverage. Beautiful hit Meanwhile, toss. there's still a match going on in the ring, boys. Very nice. And well, yeah, they started coming, oh, and they sent right back out. The block. There's two. And, and they just are not giving Rock and Rodeo a chance to get started in this match at all. all. Not at all. Maybe they should go back to the to the sack mark. Helmet now in the ring. What a he fought right out of that. 
Picks him up. Oh, Beautiful. Nice. 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 Look at him hold on. Look at him float over though. Two. Two counts. No, Ellis makes sure that there was only a two count. Rock and Rodeo now got the, the nachos back. Oh, right to the face. Come on, ref. Right to the throat. Up. Come what? on, ref. He's in the mid. At least that one was the oh. If the referee oh, doesn't see it, it, if the referee doesn't see it, it doesn't oh. exist. Oh. Beautiful kick to the face. Look at that. Well, and I, he think he, it. I think he thought he was going to come off the ropes, and when he did it, he paid with the boot to the face and misses that. Here we go. Backdrop. Big backdrop. Oh, he's fighting it up, and Ellis with the tag. So El here comes Ellis. Line tag. Know it. Oh, oh, beautiful kick. Wow. Ellis got him. There's a suplex. Nice. And it's over. Oh. Yeah, he got it for a two and a half. And in comes Rock and Rodeo. Oh. And he's going to the top. Here and we go. Isn't it nice they decided to join the match? They yeah, finally decided to make their presence known. Beautiful splash right there. Double. This match is, I think the referees lost almost control of this match. Helmet now, spine buster. And this is the first time that I've seen TMD wrestle as Rock and Rodeo. I've always seen him as a singles competitor. Beautiful sharpshooter. Look at that. Look at that. He's not the legal man. He needs to get out of the ring. There's Tag team, operative word being tag in this. I must give the referee right from the block. I must say the referee said an amazing job that he even knows who the legal man is in this match. No, you're absolutely right. I have to give him credit for that. I was confused. TMZ is down. Help. Helmet is down the small man, and he is in big trouble. Big slam right there. Slow this match down. You don't want to let Helmet get too fast. Holding him now. The block going for his double team move. Catches him. Combination neck breaker. Spinning kick. Oh! Breaks up the two. Three and count. that's why you gotta wait till, till the you finish. You cannot show to the crowd. No, you can't die. It's gonna cost the block. Too many people in this, too many people in this match to sit there and parlay to the crowd too much. TMZ shoots him up. Wow. Hits him with the forearm. Is TMD even the legal man in this match? I... Maybe. Uh, maybe. We'll go with that. Well, clearly rocking... He very well could be. Uh, he pulled out with a shoulder tackle. Rocket Rodeo's on the ground. And he rolls out the ring following TMZ. Bodies are everywhere right now. And Ellis back in the ring. Like, what does he have? Oh, a foreign object. Oh, he threw it out. He just hit. He just hit him in the head oh. with something. I can't even see what it was. Yeah, count, ref, count. Three. This one's over. We got a new tag team champions. We do. We do. Ellis. He, Ellis taking it, showing why. Winner, showing that experience. He came out and he announced this was going to be a tag team title match. And he said that Hellas was going to be taking the belts home. He was right on all accounts. What power Enoch the Enlightened has. And you've got to never underestimate the power of the Enlightened. I mean, it would almost be as though he was enlightened somehow. Yes. And look at them celebrate in the middle of the ring. Uh, well, a well, a, a well earned celebration. You can't boo these champs. Well, they didn't earn it the right way. Oh, oh it was can. a hard for hard fought victory. Remember, what the referee doesn't see didn't happen. It's not their fault that the referee can't do his job. Well, it's so hard for the referee to do his job. Six men in that ring all flying around at one time. You gotta keep you can't keep eyes on everybody. And and because of that, Hellas takes advantage. Look at that, 
the fans not even showing the proper respect. You can't reason with these people. And look at Enoch, so proud of himself. All of three of them. And why so wouldn't he be? Why wouldn't they be? They stole it. That's why they shouldn't be. Oh, they, they won that match. Fair and square. There was a three count. What a great match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's give it up for the new tag team champions. Are you sure, Boots? I mean, that was a pretty smart way to win, right? Nonetheless. All right, let's get ready for this next match. It is a open challenge set for one ball. Introducing first. They should. That would be the smartest thing. I, 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 I can't see who would answer this match challenge. And as Eric goes into the ring, it looks like he has got the microphone. Uh, who else better to announce this Terrence in the ring? Just like all of these people. Listen to my voice when I talk to you, okay? Today, a guy come out by Terrence Pum Pum Blues. Okay? You understand? You guys, okay, cool. Terrence, we are issuing an open challenge to anyone I think we may be waiting for a while. I, 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 I can't see anybody coming out and answering. Well, let's see who answers the challenge. Yeah. I can't. No, I'm not getting in there. That guy's a monster. Well, we've got music. What? And, and Ter Tarek's getting ready in the ring. Whoever it is, he's ready for him. Whoa! Who is this? Come from? Is he supposed to be here? An open challenge. An open challenge. He is Joe Dread. Joe Seely to somebody, and he's bringing a chair. Let's see who that is with him. That chair looks a little worse for wear. It's the mask man. Oh! Oh! Who let them in? It is Mikey Callahan. Do we not have security here? Are you going to stop a man that big with a chair? Because I'm not. That's what they get paid to do, isn't it? I mean, clearly, Enoch met this challenge me for someone who is actually supposed to be here tonight. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you see matches sometimes, and you know guys are going to go and have amazing technical wrestling matches. Catches, catch, can, hold for hold, just everything in the book. 
I this is not that match. We're not going to get that here. This is not that match, ladies and gentlemen. And the continued rivalry continues. This is another page in the long story. If anything, he's brought out someone to basically eliminate Enoch. Yeah, he, they've got a long history. He has now found a foil to Enoch, and that's important if you want to win this match. Oh! oh. What, did he, oh. what did he do to deserve that? That's assault right there. That's Everything. assault. It's beautiful to see him get that's assault. Oh, medic. You see what happens when you open your mouth. Somebody get a medic now out there. Terrence. Oh! oh. Terrence is just, oh. Turnabout's wow. fair play. Turnabout's fair play. Get up, Gus. Ah, I think Enoch deserved it. And and there we go. What did I tell you? Blow to blow. They're just going to start Let hitting each other. Let him fight, Rev. Let him fight. You remember the movie King Kong vs. Godzilla? You're watching it live. <laughs> Big throws in the corner, moving the whole entire ring. What's going to happen with Tarek's history? He's just as big as any one of those monsters. Tarek's just slow, methodical, stalking Joe in the corner. And when you go oh, to big men, look at him going yeah. at it. You just got to let them go. Fire Joe into that corner. But Joe, Joe's nope. getting back up. Terrence looks like he's measuring him up. Well, Enoch's back up. Terrence oh. Terrence. Look at that. Oh. 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 Squashing the man oh. in the corner. Good Lord. We Joe. built that over here. Joe's got to get out of there. He's, Terrence is coming. Oh. oh. Yep, he's done. How much more is he going to be able to take? Pin him, Terrence. Terrence. He's One, done. Two. What a quick match this is. What? And think about it like this. A man the size of Terrence, every time you kick out of that match, it's got to it's got to take that much more. You've got to move that much more weight off of you than a normal man is. Joe really showing the effects of all that right now. You can't you can't give Terex time. Terex coming and crush him again. Oh, he missed this time. Oh! Man, back up. One more time. Hits him again. Back. Terex is down. Joe's going for it. Big somersault into the corner. Look at Joe beautifully he rolled out. He got all of it. Landed right on his feet, but look at him. He has to drag that cast of humanity. He can't into move the him. No, he can't. What? Wow, he pushed him off after a one count. Well, referee was also out of position. You saw the referee had to get in position. Make sure those shoulders were down before he was able to make that count. And great ring awareness with Terex, where he just rolled right to the outside. Take a breather. It, yeah, just Terex. relax. Take a second. No need to hurry here. Very smart. Judge Joe. Judge not smart Joe's going after, going after Enoch, Enoch. But... See, Enoch but is so smart here. But Terrence is going after Gus, but Gus has a chair of his own. Joe, Joe wants to turn around. Joe, you want to... Terrence has got a chair. Oh! And this is bad enough. You, this, oh. this man is better. Oh. But then you give the man a weapon. And Joe is down. Chair right to the face. And this is big, big trouble for Joe. He, he forget being near Terrence. He cannot be outside the ring with this man. Face first, right at the bleachers, right there, all metal. The Terrence, just he's just a mountain of violence. And Terrence, Terrence taking it big chop. Terrence is taking his time, slow, methodical. Knows he's got Joe hurt. Knows he's got Joe wobbly. Going back toward the gimmick table. Merchandise, oh, making him eat the rip. He's making him eat the t-shirt. Face first right on the table after making him eat the t-shirt. Terex just, where is he going now? And kudos to the referee for trying to get control of this. I think the referee should stand out of the way at this point. Just count the three, referee. Don't, don't, don't try to make them follow rules. Don't get yourself hurt. Just, well, Terex is looking under the table, under the ring for something. Who knows what they've got stashed under there? Hey, he's got he's got a metal sheet. He's he's gonna be cooking some dinner tonight. Oh, oh no! Big look at punch. that! Oh look oh. at that! What did he hit him with? Oh. I hit him with a box of something, and then the, the, 
Dredd using a foreign oh. object here. What a cheater. Well, Terrence Bryan should have brought him the ring. He, he was a hardcore man. He was looking for cookies. Well, he's getting the cookies now. Oh! Third time's the charm, folks. That's how we do. Terrence! Terrence Bryan! This is our show! This is our show! And he not headed for the hills. He not saying the exertion is better part of Valor just runs out of there. That cookie, sh that cookie sheet's not suitable for cooking anymore. No, it's not. oh, but it's suitable for that. This isn't. This is. This is a shame. Terex is in all kinds of trouble right now. Now Joe's going to the ring. What is Joe looking for? It looks like Enoch handed Terex something. He's got a chain. Oh wow. Chains of Bruiser Brody right there. Bring that chain to the ring. And Terex yeah. wants no part of that chain. That what, does Terex, again. what does Terex have? There it is. He's got a hook! He's, oh, he's hooking the man in the mouth. Joe doing the smart thing with the eyes to get that hook out of his mouth. God, if he would have ripped that, who knows what would have happened. Going for the knee. What? One more knee to the midsection. Now using the chain to choke him. Uh, this hardly seems fair. Referee's right in there. Referee's right in there. This is out of hand already. And he's wrapping the chain around his hand. Yes, he is. He's lining up. Oh, oh. but he eats the chair instead. Terrence getting that little bit of that little window of opportunity to now take control of this match. And now Terex has the chain. And what did we say about the monster with a weapon? Choking Joe with the chain. Look at this. I have to say, I think Joe asked for this. <laughs> he brought the chain in the match, so he was asking for it. Terex, oh, kick to the back with the chair on his back. And the ref's right in there watching all of it. I mean. Terex. At this point, he's just there to make the count. You're right. Yeah, Terex, no wasted mo motion at all. Everything he does with purpose. Is that a rolling pin? That is a rolling oh. pin! I told you he was here to make some cookies. Oh. And a trash can to the head! He broke that trash can. Oh, yeah, Dread, that's it for that trash Dread can. Ruined, yeah, that's Dread ruined his dessert plans tonight, and he's going to pay for it now. Terex stalking Dread. Now he's going to... We said don't give the man a weapon, and he's just keeps finding more weapons. Setting up chairs now. Oh, and a big chair shot to the back. That was hard. You heard that with the entire place. Terex, what did I tell you? No wasted motion. Everything he does with deadly intent. Everything he meant to end this match. Well, I'm betting now. What is he? Joe is thinking it's a bad idea oh! to take this open Side rush and lace. We put oh. the chair onto the chairs. That's a lot of chairs. If the action is coming your Joe. way, please get out of the way. Joe. I repeat, if the action is coming your way, please get out of the way. Yes, please. Joe. And there goes Joe. The is there any people out of here? Terrence Ter Ter doesn't care. He will eat those children and spit them back out. They need to get out of the way. Parents, watch your children. Yes, watch your children. This man is it, he's, he's an animal. Look at him right now. Putting the boots to Joe. Oh. But Joe, big right hand with the chain. Joe's got the chair. Oh. Chair shot. Look at him ring the chair around his head. Brutal. Elbow to the head. Joe say it's over, but I don't know if he's got if he can put away this big man. And remember, he's got to pull him back into the ring and hit him. Think about this. He hit him on the head with the chair, full front, and. Terex only took a knee, and Terex oh, is back on his feet, fighting with a chair around his head. Wow. He's, he doesn't let anything stop him. What kind of animal is this man? Look at this. Oh! oh. Into the corner with the chair. Oh, that did Terex seem. Terex is out on his feet. That did seem ill-advised. But can Joe get him back into the ring? We saw how much trouble he had earlier, just dragging him into the middle. Can he pull that monstrosity back into the ring? He does have to get him in to pin him. Yes, he does. Oh, of course he's going after Enoch with the chain. Did he catch him? No, he didn't. Speaking of chains, now, now Joe just wailing, fighting the man's forehead. At this point, he's got to do anything he can to win this match. Joe. 
And a seed! Just getting crazy. Here he comes like a train train! Beautiful! Oh. Cannonball into the oh. chair! And Joe is all fired up! Well, he's just like his tight say, violent justice. And right now, he is dealing that justice out. Terex is in a world of trouble. But can Joe capitalize? Can he end this match? That is the question. Joe setting up the table, the chair, excuse me. What does he have in mind here? And the crowd has no problems calling Enoch a scaredy cat. Well, I don't blame him. Joe now. So there's something. This no seems like a really way. bad idea. No way does he get this It's a really bad idea. No way does he get this man up. Really he, get he, he, get he, can't, he can't get him up. Tarek's now with the reversal. Oh! oh! Suplex on the both chairs. Oh. <coughs> That's painful just to look at. You knew that Joe, as powerful as he is, was going to have trouble getting all 400, over 400 pounds of Tarek's up and over. And he could not. And now he missed price. And now the move, match moves back into the ring. Terex is back in control thanks to one big maneuver. This is anybody's match. It really is at this anybody's point. match. Yeah, Gus passing him a chair. Can, can, ju can Judge Joe, can he not win a match on his own? Can Terex not? Terex has Enoch out there. And Enoch's got a hook. Terex now and back Gus in the ring. Gus is holding his leg. Gus, what is Gus? Look at Gus. Gus is holding his leg. Gus has got Terex's leg. Terex almost grabbed Gus, but look at Joe oh! on the face plant. Right on the, right up the chain, I believe. Don't pull the straps down. Oh boy. This doesn't Can look good. It? Can Joe finish it? Can he get the behemoth up? No, he's going to go for beautiful. Oh! Short, but almost a short bulldog right there. One. Two, three! Oh. Here is your winner, Joe Craig! Joe with a big victory over the monster. Took, dropped the monster. Gus is now in the ring after taking a shot from Terex. This was practically a two on one. I almost call it a two on two with Enoch out there. Hey, but it's fair. All fair in love and war zone. Ah, they started it. Congratulations to Joe Dredd. And Gus. Wait, wait, wait what's, what's going on? Enoch's in the ring. Enoch is hit Gus. Yeah. Vito's in the ring. Uh, he got, Vito's in the ring. He got him back. <laughs> Vito's here. The heavyweight champion is in the ring. Kellis is coming in. The referee has lost all control of the match. What is going on right now? And Just Vito, Joe Dredd. Oh. Over the head on Joe Dredd. Oh, he fell out to the floor. Wow, and, and Vito Gus just taking a beating too. And Ellis in the ring. Ellis is both members of Ellis are in the ring. Vito's in the ring. And now putting the boost to Gus. This is not right. Somebody get out here and stop this. This pandemonium. The Gus, somebody stop him. He's got a chair. Gus never should have gotten involved. What is he not oh, doing? No. This is despicable. Oh, oh straight to the stomach. Gus cannot even defend himself. Oh, and here comes Tsunami and, and Sick Boy. <coughs> Finally, some help for for, for Joe. Gus. And for Joe. And with the odds a little more even, Enoch's boys run for the hills. And they split. And here comes they, Joe back into the ring. They did what they needed to do. But you're right, the damage has already been done. The damage has definitely been done. Enoch showing his his power over the, over everybody with just being able to run out of here with his entire group and just cause pandemonium. And Joe is upset. And I don't blame him. He got jumped. He had a hell of a match against Terrence, and then he gets jumped by Enoch and Vito. And, and yet, yeah, and to attack Gus is 
is probably the most despicable thing they did. Well, he never should have gotten involved. And you gotta think that this is just one more page in the long story chapter between Enoch and Gus playing out tonight. Oh, this is not over, not by a long shot. If anything, this has gotten even worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up once again for Joe Dredd. I have to agree, I don't think this is over. No, this is not over by any stretch of the imagination. Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling Warzone returns to Spring Valley, California. And your Wrestling Warzone heavyweight champion, Vito Fratelli, is defending his championship against none other than Brandon Gatson. He's one of the best around, one of the best wrestlers in Southern California. But I'm going to do whatever it takes by any means necessary to walk out your Wrestling Warzone Heavyweight Champion. And if you got a problem with it, forget about it, huh? On the 4th of February, Eddie East does a straight edge trip. He makes his return to Wrestling Warzone in Spring Valley. And on that night, Vato, I'll be facing my former tag team partner, Wicked Wicked, because he's looking to come to San Diego and take my WWZ Lucha Libre Championship. Now, Vato, ever since you and I won tag team gold that one time, we went on totally different routes, you see, because you went ahead and you started taking over Los Angeles, which I'll give you props for that. But when you come to the 619, when you come to San Diego, you gotta come here to come with Permiso because this is the turf that Eddie Islas runs. So I'll see you at WWC on the 4th of February. Orale! Saturday, February 4th, the Wrestling Warzone returns to Spring Valley, California at the Spring Valley Gymnasium, where the incredible one, the Neon Phenomenon, Anthony Idol, will face Can't Stop Jamal for the international title. Jamal, it's all fair and love in Warzone on Saturday, February 4th. Dude, I can't wait to see you there. It's all going down. Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling Warzone, Spring Valley, California. I understand that I'm going to be making my big debut in Wrestling Warzone next weekend. And it's a little bit different from what I'm used to. You see, it's not going to be me as a singles. No, 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 no. They got me in a tag match. Not just any tag match. This one right here is going to be a number one contenders tag match. Three different teams. Kind of sounds to me like I'm stepping into the jungle. One thing I've learned is that if you're going to play in the jungle, you need a beast of your own. And I got my beast. In the jungle, there are beasts. And all these beasts are hungry for blood, ready to break somebody's bone. Because next Saturday, Ronnie and Leo are coming to Wrestling Warzone. 
When you hear the numbers 810, oh, you already know, bro, that the Moonlight Angels will rise and whoop your asses till sunrise next Saturday. I'm coming for blood. Somebody. Don't get it. You know, we're only less than two weeks away from February 4th. We're only two weeks away from my debut, Mike Rain's debut in WWZ. And I am so excited to make my debut, but I'm also just as excited to face a new challenge, to face a man that I've never been across the ring before. And you know, Kodo Hero, I've watched you climbing the ranks of pro wrestling and getting better and better. And while I was on the shelf, having my arm repaired after tearing my bicep off the bone, I was waiting for the chance to fight the next generation. And you know what? You've never faced someone like me. You've never faced someone who has as much experience in their little pinky as most of your opponents do in their entire bodies. And it's just one reason why, on my very first day back in Los Angeles, I became the Crimson Crown Heavyweight Champion. So, on February 4th, when I face you for a shot at the WWZ International Championship, I'm so confident in myself that I'm going to put my newly won championship on the line. And you are going to find out just why Mike Rain is the most innovative man on the scene today. You're going to find out why my moveset is so ridiculous, is so original that it leaves commentators baffled. And before any of these creativity-depraved independent goons could steal my moveset, I've already came up with my next one. So you are going to find out why I am the epitome of creativity, why I am the object of envy, and why I am the original Mike Rain. And after February 4th, I will still be your Crimson Crown heavyweight champion, and I will be one step closer to the WWZ International Championship. <laughs> All is fair in love and war zone. So on Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling War Zone returns to Spring Valley, California. And your Wrestling War Zone heavyweight champion, Vito Fratelli, is defending his championship against none other than Brandon Gatson. He's one of the best around, one of the best wrestlers in Southern California. 
and I'm gonna do whatever it takes by any means necessary to walk out your Wrestling Warzone Heavyweight Champion. And if you got a problem with it, forget about it, huh? Straight Edge Trinity makes his return to wrestling Warzone in Spring Valley. And on that night, Vato, I'll be facing my former tag team partner, Wicked Wicked, because he's looking to come to San Diego and take my WWZ Lucha Libre Championship. Now, Vato, ever since you and I won tag team gold that one time, we went on totally different routes, you see, because you went ahead and you started taking over Los Angeles, which I'll give you props for that. But when you come to the 619, when you come to San Diego, you gotta come here to come better me, so because this is the turf that Eddie Islas runs. So I see you at WWC on the 4th of February. Orale! Saturday, February 4th, the Wrestling War Zone returns to Spring Valley, California at the Spring Valley Gymnasium, where the incredible one, the Neon Phenomenon, Anthony Idol, will face Can't Stop Jamal for the international title. Jamal, it's all fair and love in Warzone on Saturday, February 4th. Dude, I can't wait to see you there. It's all going down. <laughs> Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling War Zone, Spring Valley, California. I understand that I'm going to be making my big debut in Wrestling War Zone next weekend. And it's a little bit different from what I'm used to. You see, it's not going to be me as a singles. No, 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 no. They got me in a tag match. Not just any tag match. This one right here is going to be a number one contenders tag match. Three different teams. Kind of sounds to me like I'm stepping into the jungle. One thing I've learned is that if you're going to play in the jungle, you need a beast of your own. And I got my beast. In the jungle, there are beasts. And all these beasts are hungry for blood, ready to break somebody's bone. Cause next Saturday, Ronnie and Leo are coming to Wrestling War Zone. When you hear the numbers 810, oh, you already know, bro, that the Moonlight Angels will rise and whoop your asses till sunrise. Next Saturday, I'm coming for blood. Somebody, don't get it. You know, we're only less than two weeks away from February 4th. We're only two weeks away from my debut, Mike Rain's debut in WWZ. And I am so excited to make my debut, but I'm also just as excited to face a new challenge, to face a man that I've never been across the ring before. And you know, Kodo Hero, I've watched you climbing the ranks of pro wrestling and getting better and better. And while I was on the shelf, having my arm repaired after tearing my bicep off the bone. I was waiting for the chance to fight the next generation. And you know what? You've never faced someone like me. You've never faced someone who has as much experience in their little pinky as most of your opponents do in their entire bodies. And it's just one reason why on my very first day back in Los Angeles, I became the Crimson Crown Heavyweight Champion. So, on February 4th, when I face you for a shot at the WWZ International Championship, I'm so confident in myself that I'm going to put my newly won championship on the line. And you are going to find out just why Mike Rain is the most innovative man on the scene today. You're going to find out why my moveset is so ridiculous, is so original that it leaves commentators baffled.
And before any of these creativity depraved independent goons could steal my move set, I've already came up with my next one. So you are going to find out why I am the epitome of creativity, why I am the object of envy, and why I am the original Mike Rain. And after February 4th, I will still be your Crimson Crown heavyweight champion, and I will be one step closer to the WWZ International Championship. <laughs>
Saturday, February 4th, the Wrestling War Zone returns to Spring Valley, California at the Spring Valley Gymnasium, where the incredible one, the Neon Phenomenon, Anthony Idol, will face Tim Stop Jamal for the international title. Jamal, it's all fair and love in Warzone Saturday, February 4th. Dude, I can't wait to see you there. It's all going down. Saturday, February 4th, Wrestling Warzone, Spring Valley, California. I understand that I'm going to be making my big debut in Wrestling Warzone next weekend. And it's a little bit different from what I'm used to. You see, it's not going to be me in singles. No, 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 no. They got me in a tag match. Not just any tag match. This one right here is going to be a number one contenders tag match. Three different teams. Kind of sounds to me like I'm stepping into the jungle. One thing I've learned is that if you're going to play in the jungle, you need a beast of your own. And I got my beast. In the jungle, there are beasts. And all these beasts are hungry for blood, ready to break somebody's bone. Because next Saturday, Ronnie and Leo are coming to Wrestling War Zone. When you hear the numbers 810, oh, you already know, bro, that the Moonlight Angels will rise and whoop your asses till sunrise next Saturday. I'm coming for blood. Somebody. Don't get it. You know, we're only less than two weeks away from February 4th. We're only two weeks away from my debut, Mike Rain's debut in WWZ. And I am so excited to make my debut, but I'm also just as excited to face a new challenge, to face a man that I've never been across the ring before. And you know, Kodo Hero, I've watched you climbing the ranks of pro wrestling and getting better and better. And while I was on the shelf, Having my arm repaired after tearing my bicep off the bone, I was waiting for the chance to fight the next generation. And you know what? You've never faced someone like me. You've never faced someone who has as much experience in their little pinky as most of your opponents do in their entire bodies. And it's just one reason why on my very first day back in Los Angeles, I became the Crimson Crown Heavyweight Champion. So, on February 4th, when I face you for a shot at the WWZ International Championship, I'm so confident in myself that I'm going to put my newly won championship on the line. And you are going to find out just why Mike Rain is the most innovative man on the scene today. You're going to find out why my moveset is so ridiculous. We hope you got your food and your merch, because we are back with the action. Are you guys ready for the next championship match tonight? Yeah. I said, are you ready for the next championship match tonight? Yeah. Well, let's get it going. The following contest is set for one fall, and it is for the WWG International Champion. All right, and welcome back, everybody. And I want to give a really quick plug to SoCal <laughs> Wrestling TV from all Roku devices. That is SoCalWrestling.tv on all Roku devices. And coming soon on Android and iOS. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. So much content there, too. And you have to watch, you have to watch this game. This match is for the inter International Championship. This is the match that Mike Green is watching very, very closely. You're absolutely right. He's got to be watching this with a fine-tooth comb, trying to find out who the winner is going to be for this one. And CSJ comes out with the stop sign. <laughs> and he's got the, he's got no stops because he's going to pull out all the stops. Look at that. He's ready. He is amped up and ready to go. Certainly excited. <laughs> From the big city, he is the Uno. 
Definitely has the size advantage in this matchup. Definitely. And look to him to use that to his advantage, especially over the much, much smaller CSJ. And I think that the longer that the match goes, the more Idol is going to have the advantage. Because he can really go. Look at every bit the champion right there. Here comes the international champion, Anthony Idol. CSJ's definitely going to have his hands full. Cannot help him in this matchup. There's the wood, it's all on the line. A beautiful belt, too. Coming in hot. That's yes. right on the corner, but there's the strength of Idol shoving him out of the corner. He's, maybe, going, he's going right back in. Maybe this is what he has to do. He's got to use his speed and not show up like that to the crowd. Sometimes that's your oh, go. Oh. And we've seen that time and time again throughout matches this evening. As soon as you take the time to go and showboat to the crowd, you, uh, it always costs him. He's trying to try to throw Idol. Idol did too, too much. Big back drop. But this is where, this is Anthony Idol's match. He's got to slow it down. He's got to slow that pace up. That methodical pace. Big slam. Just threw him like he was nothing. All that time upside down, and he just tossed him like you said. Big yeah. right elbow. Oh, right across the sternum. I mean, it seems like it's already academic from here. Right now, it, 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 it almost seems that way. You can't count CSJ out yet. Throws him into the corner head first. CSJ might not even know where he is at this point. Oh! <laughs> what an overhead shot. Wow. Oh, those giant hands. Oh, CSJ, look, at it. they just knocked a breath right out of him. The crowd wants one more. No, and not another. Oh, oh. Like oh, big four off for CSJ. Wisely. Oh, oh, oh. Might have hurt his hand and Idol's massive chest there, though. CSJ's got an opening, though. This is the opportunity he's got. He's got to use that speed. He's got to stay away from him. He's not going to do it like that. Whips him in the corner hard. Idol brings him out, picks him up for a slam. And there he goes. Big power slam. And he pressed on him this time. Came down with all of his weight. Now Idol is sitting in the second row. Oh, fist drop right to the top of the forehead. CSJ and 
off in the trouble, but this is also Anthony Idol's match. Slow, methodical, take his time, dissect the man, use that strength to his advantage. And that's it. We've seen very little offense from CSJ. Oh, but there's the one. There you go. Oh, not oh, only a one is. count. We're seeing that, that, oh. that quickness is where it's going to come in with a great kick to the face. Caught him with that super kick, put Idol down, and this is where he's going to stay on top. He cannot get Idol a moment to even He's figuring it out. This is the way to go. Big boots in the corner from CSJ. And you gotta stay on him. You gotta stay on him. Those precious moments mean so much. You cannot take as much time with a man with the experience level of an idol. Big right hand wound up that one. European style uppercuts. CSJ really feeling it. That's a big man to hit right there. Setting him up for that. Oh. Finished on it. Oh. Crossroads right there almost. Roll the dice. One, two. Oh, two. It really later. was. It was a modified crossroads. Yeah. And it looked very crisp. He got two, he got two out of it, almost three out of that. That's very effective. He has definitely slowed down idle. But you gotta wonder, is this the kind of match he wants to do? Does he really want to slow down to this kind of pace where idle is really more comfortable to see it? Right now it's working for him. Will he have a decision? Referee's got to make sure that there's not a choke. But I don't think back to his feet. This is where CHS is going to be in trouble. The vertical base of Idol is just too much for him, for CHS to hold him up and move like that. This is the big oh. move. And a cross body, but he caught it. There we go. Oh, no. He said the power of Idol. Slam all the way over here at the table. With relative ease, he just tosses him over his head. Idol with the big clubbing blows to the back. No, check the chin right there a little bit. But CSJ's got to stay on top of him. Now, the referee's got to do something about this. He's got until five, and he's using every second of that five count. He is, and that's, that's what you got to do. That You've got to use the rules to your advantage. Yeah, that is right. He did the smart thing right there. He's got to break this man down any way he can. CSJ now, big right hand. CSJ's getting some booze here. Does the crowd not understand the rules? CSJ now setting up. Oh, running into the big boot out of the corner. And like Idol. I said earlier, the longer that this goes, I have to give the advantage to Idol. Oh, definitely, definitely. This man can really go. No look of concern Lock on his that. face at all. Idol knows what he's in right now. He knows what he's got to do. He's been in these situations long enough to know what he's got to do. Big sunset flip. Two. Oh, okay. Wasn't able to finish it. Down. Oh, able to kick him in the head. Sets him up. Oh! CSJ not done, though. What a super kick. Caught him right into the chin. Cover one, two, no, but no hook in the leg. It only lays across his chest. It only gets two. CSJ is calling for a three, but that was only a two. And now, too much drawing with the crowd, and there's some big shots from Idol, and that's just showing the power. Just put the match right back in Idol's corner. Ducks the clothesline, go behind, with no cruise to take one. Two, no! Idol rolls out. Idol keeps a big shoulder down. That was close. Oh, oh, D -D -D. Wow. Stay on top of him. Idol is not in this position Too very often. Too much. Showboating to the crowd from CSJ, and instead of going for the cover, he picks him up for a good chin lock. I've seen a lot of idle matches and I've never seen him like this where he's really in trouble. He's being tested. But now he's getting back to that vertical base. The CSJ's going to keep him in. He's got to keep him down. No, idle back up. And now he's going to have trouble. Look at the was this? Beautiful backdrop. So coming to the ring, Mike Rain is out here wanting to get a, a bird's eye view, get the close up view of this matchup. Huh? The CCW heavyweight champ. Oh, big elbow. Like monkey. And he still didn't take him down. He's on the corner. Here we go. Idol going into the corner now. Big splash. And he missed it. CSJ, this is his opportunity. Drop to hold. Into the ropes. Mike Ray's still out here.
here. You gotta wonder, does he have a CSJ just going after, I don't know, does Mike Green have a dog in this fight? Would he rather face as an idol or would he rather face a smaller man as CSJ? Well, seeing as how he just... Oh! oh! He just oh! with the belt! That I, looks like he made a decision. I think we got our answer. Wow! Mike Green just blasted Anthony Otto with the CCW Championship. What? And now CSJ, no! CSJ hooking him up. Oh, 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 wow! Is... No, not like this. One, two, three. We have a new oh, champion. We have a new champion. have to give the assist to Mike Green. Decided who does he want to face? Oh, he's in there. That's the title he wants right there. Well, we want to. We there to, Is he there to congratulate? Is he congratulating CSJ? That has got to be facetious. He cannot be that at all. We wonder yep. what Mike Gray was doing out here. We wondered, and we now know, he cast his eye, he made his bet. He knows he can beat CSJ much easier than he can beat an Anthony Idol. CSJ not happy with Mike Gray out here. Is he gonna shake his hand? He just wrestled a match. Just shake his hand, he helped you win. He practically handed CSJ that title. He did. Oh. There it is. There it is. All right. That's good. Oh. 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 Wow. Wow. CSJ should never have trusted Mike Green. Mike Green going for that top handle again. That top handle is right oh. 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 Oh, Mike Green making it very clear he plans to take that title. Mike Rain is in it for one man and one man only, and that is himself. CSJ may not be holding this title long. He's won it tonight, but I don't think he's going to be holding on to it for very much longer. I don't think so either. Wow. Mike Rain definitely made a statement here tonight. Oh, he told him to keep the belt warm for him. Well, definitely CSJ has got a lot to think about right now. He better get himself ready for this matchup. Getting some support from the crowd. Well, after that attack by Mike Ray, no doubt they have to have some sort of the man wrestled the match and it was just, just level. I don't know if those cheers make it any better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, your new international champion, CSJ Kessachimal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys enjoying the show? I know you guys are going to get sick of me constantly asking you, but uh, I'm the hype man for tonight. So are we having a great time tonight? <laughs> then let's get to the next match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the WWG Lucha Championship. Introducing first. Gentlemen, whereas the match earlier was a was a knockdown dragout fight, this this match should be a lucha especial match of epic proportions. And as we see, we can take it to the ring. We can only await the entrance of any
definitely a crowd favorite. this match. Not by much, but he is the bigger man. That and doesn't happen just, often. I was just going to mention that. Most of the matches that I've seen with Eddie Eastless, he's always the one that's the smallest. So it's different this time watching him being the bigger man in this co this competition. Go behind into a wrist lock, Eddie with the reversal. We said these two knew each other very well, and it's showing right now as they constantly just find a reversal for each and everything that the other one has. Nice takedown, and then Eddie uh, was very smart being a ring general, keeping that arm. And he holds on the arm, trying to keep Wicked grounded. That might be the best. Wicked now going for the ropes to get a break. That was smart. Very smart. Oh, sitting there, get it, get it, get the break in the ropes. Wicked getting a little reset, trying to get the, trying to get Eddie off of his arm. by Wicked. Eddie doesn't even know he didn't take him down. Ducks under the clothesline, comes off the rope, goes up for a run up, takes him over. Well, he's living up to his moniker. That was Wicked. That was. Flies in, misses the elbow to the corner. Eddie moves up. Eddie with the monkey. No, nope. sets on the top rope. Kicks the arm. Eddie on the top rope with a beautiful arm drag. Since, it sends Wicked flying to the other end of the ring. Wicked's back up. Beautiful the back, back, elbow, and back, back down, down again. And he's now shooting him off. Right slip, ducks under the shot. Beautiful back elbow right there. Leapy back elbow. Wicked takes a little five. And Eddie, being the champion that he is, knows he does not have to chase Wicked. And he's not going to chase Wicked outside that ring yet. He's going to wait for Wicked to get back in the ring. Uh, Wicked taking a, taking a break. Charge those batteries before getting back in the ring. And Eddie, Eddie being the competitor that he is, is very content to just let him get back in the ring. Nice and even. Another and show of respect. Beautiful show of respect. Oh! oh that's what I like to see. And that ended that show of respect. No. Wicked, Wicked, Wicked wants to win this match. We went from a wrestling match to a fight Ooh. now. Wicked now has the advantage, shoots him off, Eddie ducks. Oh, beautiful kick from the top of the... Catch him right on the side of the head, shoots Eddie, and Wicked right out of the back. Kicked him clear out of the ring. And here he oh, is, he's going to take a risk. Eddie taking the trip. Oh, oh Eddie paid oh, for it. Caught. But see what happens when you take that risk. You always leave yourself open. He ate that far away outside of the ring, and now Wicked firmly has the momentum back. It's not called a risk for nothing. That's right. Oh. All right. oh. 
Oh, and a massive hit. Just bowled him over just so he could get the pin. And now some disrespect from Wicked. There you go. That's, see, this is what kind of competition now, now is all about is, right here. This is not what the beginning of this match was for. These two are friends. These two had a great match. And now it's a generator and something else. Wicked's got Eddie on the ropes. <coughs> Done on the top rope. And now another shot to the face. Right to the face. Friendship does not win you titles. Wicked has thrown the friendship and the commodity and the respect of the beginning of the match right out the window. Gladly traded for that title belt, though. Eddie, Eddie is trying to fire back. Wicked just inviting him to fire back. Just taking every shot. Eddie, Wicked now. Going oh, to another part of the body. Right low. to the knee. knee to, running knee to the face. And he caught him. It looks like he caught most of that. Eddie looks like he's out. One. Two, unorthodox pin right there. Gotta hook that leg. We've seen so many pins tonight where they don't hook the leg. You gotta wonder how many people would have won the match if they hooked that leg. Eddie looks like he could be lost in there. Eddie's in, Eddie is in a world of trouble right now. He's really gotta do something to get the match back into his corner. Because right now, everything is clearly going with its way. Oh, big elbow big in the corner. Form. Right to the jaw. Uh-oh. He might have woke up, Eddie, with that shot. It looked like he was seeing stars there for a minute, but then he oh, came back. Oh, another one. Tension's running high. There oh, Eddie with a shot back. Hey, oh, Eddie Wayne on Wicked throws him over the top. Wicked catches on, though. Those big shots come back. Catching the kick. Wick is down. Here comes another risk. Here he comes. And he's got this. Oh! He's down to the floor. The, the fans took a, took a leave of absence there from their chairs to get out of the way. Wisely, fans splitting off in all directions. What a risk. And now, Eddie, what he wanted to do earlier, now the match is firmly in his corner. Big, big head to the chair right there. Eddie taking advantage of the count right now. The referee's giving him all kinds of leeway. Get out of the way. Get out of the chair. Into the audience. Right into the chair. This match started off such a clean match between friends, but now it has degenerated into a fight. They are outside the ring fighting now. Well, that just shows how much they want that belt. Eddie's got Wicked seated. What's he going for? Big kick while he's sitting in the chair. Wicked in all sorts of trouble right now, but still managing to fight back. And a kick to the head stops that. That definitely took the brakes off. Oh. And Wicked just taking out three rows of chairs. God, we don't have any, nobody in the audience is able to sit in a chair anymore. And he now stopped Wicked. Anything can happen at WWC. Gotta get him back in the ring if he's gonna win this match. Picks him up, backdrop right under the apron. And that edge of that ring is all hard. That was all back right there. There is no protection there. Yeah, you gotta get in the ring and finish it. Eddie now gets back in the ring. Will he go for a pin? No, he's not ready to go for a pin yet. Must know that Wicked's got a little bit more left in him. Big elbow drop after winding it up. Number one, two, no, two count only. And what a conviction, what a kick out with conviction by Wicked. Wicked has a lot more left in this match. Now the crowd clearly behind Curly behind Eddie it seems. Shoots Wicked off. Wicked dubs. Cut. Caught him. Cut him with the kick. Oh, oh, beautiful Cotter. He finally him took his head off. Spiked him right on the top of his head. Cover one, two. Oh, two. That looks, oh man, that looks devastating. No doubt, Eddie's got to be feeling a little bit of frustration right now. Oh, oh, that's such a move, and he's going to get a two count. Big look at concern, he's going to run over to the ref and try to clean his case. Wicked in all sorts of trouble. Gotta wonder if Eddie's taking too much time. Eddie picks him up. Wicked goes to the eye. There he goes. And up to the leg. That's right. He's selling, he's selling, he want, he's selling the crowd. I Fresh want that title. Shoots him over, no. Beautiful flip, look at that. Oh, oh. Look at that. 
This is how you win titles. One, two, two, go. Oh. 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 oh, he's not done. Cover. Come on again. Two, no. Oh, two he's count so only. Oh, he almost had that. Yep. Wow. What is Wicked going to have? Wicked cannot give him time to recover. Get on him, Wicked. Get over there. Too much arguing with the referee. I, I agree. The referee is being too slow with the count, but arguing with him at this point is not going to help. Picks him up, and he caught him. But Wicked is fighting out. Wicked fought out. Big clubbing blows in the back down the side of the head. Big elbows. This is some this is the aggression we want to see. And he caught him again. Bigger man, like we said for once, caught him. Spins around. Oh, oh. oh. slam. Can he finish it? Sit out, slam. Can he finish it? Cover. Cover. One, two. Oh, he still managed to get the So close. Wicked is not giving up. Look at frustration on Isis. And he throws his headband out. Wicked in all sorts of trouble right now. You have to. Wonder how close the end is for Wicked. Eddie's not going to the top rope. We said about these high risk maneuvers. No, oh, that's a couple of sense hard. Wicked with an opening. He's got to take advantage of this. Oh, 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 oh. in the chest. Big big close close good, good Jumping lord. Over. And the roll goes oh. through. One, two, hands on tight. Go, two count. Eddie kicks out. What does he got to do to get a three? Oh, oh what a close oh, line. Close line. He ate that lariat, oh. picks him up. What's Wicked gonna do with him now? Wicked's got him up on his shoulders. Death Valley sits him out for a driver. Rap rapid offense. Wow, one after another, one, two, hook of the leg, no! Oh. And the champion kicks out! How what did he, match. how did he kick out of that? What an amazing match! That shows you that heart, that desire, that knowledge of being a champion. And he is a, knows what it takes to be a champion. And the crowd is still firmly behind the champion. The crowd is, it, this match is amazing. It's oh. deafening in here. Wicked, you can't let that bother you. No, the, don't. The fans cannot help you win. Oh, and a big boot to the side of the head. Wicked is showing some frustration now, though. Yeah, maybe he's letting it fuel his aggression oh. on this. Eddie now with desperation punches in the midsection. Wicked with a big forearm to the side of the head. And now Eddie with a shot. Wicked hits himself. Big shot, recipient. Oh, big boot to the East face. Way. East that boot. And now Eddie opening up. Wicked needs to get out of this. Wicked in all sorts of trouble now, pushes him off, goes for the Larry to get, nope. This is a beautiful neck breaker right there. And he's got an opening, what's he gonna do with it? And he's gonna go and take a risk again, maybe this time he won't leave him handed and he'll be able to finish it. He's calling for something. But look at Wicked, look at my Wicked. Oh. And a throw to knock him off. Here we go. And he capitalized on it, though. Dangerous, dangerous position, that top row. Bowman jumping, pushes the ball, but Wicked flips out of it. Oh, and a jumping oh, kick catches Eddie on the side oh, of the head. Oh, what an amazing recovery by Wicked up from that flip. Wicked now, going for his, no. Eddie shots to the midsection. Face buster. Wicked now. Out flat. Where's Eddie going? Eddie. Eddie's signaling he's going to finish this. Walks the top oh. rope with the tumbling sent on. Come on. Two, three. Yeah. This one's over. What are they doing? Here is the winner and still WWC Lucha Champion, Eddie Eastwood. Wicked was showing, though, some aggression that 
He, he wasn't caring what the fans had to say, and that's what you gotta do it. But it didn't work out for him this time. And we got the fans throwing money in the ring. They yeah. love this match. Very they love up. this match. Very reminiscent of Mexico. And Mexico with two luchadors have a great match. The crowd showers them with money. And this is what that crowd is doing for them. This crowd is showing them how much that match meant to them. So th thankfully it's not rolls of quarters that are being thrown in there. <laughs> Show of respect here. Don't, don't, oh! don't do it, Wicked. Don't do it. There you go. Oh! Eddie asking for a sign of respect for a man who was, we thought was his friend. Oh! And he said, Wicked kicks his hand away and then gives him a, a pie face, basically. Yeah, Wicked took the money as a consolation prize right now. Not even sharing like he's supposed to. Seemingly indicating that he wants another shot at that title. And he doesn't think he deserves it after that match, but we have to remember that there is a man who has a free open title shot sitting waiting. He could pick anyone. Let's give it up for once again, still your WWE Loser Champion, Eddie Eastwood. That was a killer semi. Am I right? I said, am I right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the last match. This is your main event. And it is for the WWC Heavyweight Champion of the World. Intricacy first. I'm late. I'm not very 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 late.
that doesn't help him win the title. No, it does not. Energy on the fence. Oh. The match hasn't started yet. They don't need to. They don't need to be in there. was uncalled for. You know, it's very popular. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The heavyweight championship. Right down to business. There's a reason he is the heavyweight champion, and it's because of tactics and things like that. No kidding. The man knows how to win a match. And he gets in there just like a little, just like a bulldog, going right after him. But like we've seen so much like, no waste of Oh, but he needs the right half of that in. That was a cheap one. shot. Two more. Three. Knocks him right out of the ring. Big Vito. And Vito is out of the ring now. Gatson is amped up. And look at the shit Gatson's in. Vito now getting back in the ring. Brandon not giving him a chance. And that. Enoch still making friends. And Brandon still not giving him. Vito, oh. Vito knocked right back in the chair. Not a bad strategy. Does, well, he, does he not know he needs to pin him in the ring to win the title? Oh, I'm sure he does. Brandon, Brandon Gaston is no straight to the And that's what happens when you turn your back on the champ. He worried about the referee, turned around, and ran into a total mass of humanity. And now a big right half for Vito. Brandon Gaston is no stranger. Brandon Gaston is a veteran of Southern California. He has done it all. He has been everywhere. He has wrestled everyone. But this, this is another order for him. Vito, Vito Fratelli is a totally different order than Brandon Gaston ever faced. And you have to also remember Enoch stalking outside the ring. Choke. Champ. Champ knows he's got till five to break the count. Use the rules to your advantage. In fact, if I'm, the champ, if I'm the champ, he could get himself disqualified and not lose the title. Oh! But he eats that poop command in the corner. Gatson hits him with a clothesline. He can't take the big man down, though. Hits him with another clothesline. He's got it wrong. Vito is too strong. Is he going to lift him off of his feet? Yeah, he lift him. Oh! oh, he caught him. Demonstrating right there what I just said. He's just too strong and for he's this. He's going to make him pay. Look at that. And if, he, and if he wasn't going to pick him up before, he's sure going to have trouble now. Vito going right for that lower back. He knows what Brandon's going to have to use if he wants to hit any high impact move on Vito. If he injures the back, he cannot pick up Vito. He's tearing at his mouth right there. And almost a, ca almost a half of the camel's blood is just dripping, like you said, at his cheeks and lips. Vito not coming off the rope. Look at that big splash. Vito has targeted that lower back, ladies and gentlemen. Such an impact on that one. One, two, hook of the legs. Oh, two count only. Very close, though. Vito, 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 Tina Tupale. Tina Tupale. I don't know, I don't know Enoch was fighting. He's a man of many talents. Remember, he is enlightened. This is true. And now look at Eno. This is what we talked about. He's giving this is that X Factor. He's giving him a pep talk. This is that X Factor. How does Brandon Gaston fight Vito and Eno? He can't. He can't. That's that's Vito is going to retain his championship today. And now the, and now the crowd's going after Eno. But Brandon turned to fire back. Oh, big right hand. Oh! Vito now backs him into the corner, takes him out, shoots him through, over and over the top. Goes, does the close line. Look at the big German suplex. Got the big man over. Bro, Beautiful. 
suplex. The ring bounced. Oh. Just flowed through the ropes, grabbed the man from behind and hit a beautiful German. You didn't think he'd have the strength to get him over, but he did. Oh! And then the chop. And now Brandon raining down right hand. Right to the left. He knocks up on the apron. Get he knocked down. Uh-oh. You better run. I hope he gets him. He's got his track shoes on. I hope he gets him. And he chases him. Oh! so proud of himself. Look at him. Uh, it was effective. He's out there and representing his guy, oh, his wrestler. Vito. Referee finally break, goes in there to break it up. He's got that five count. Comes off the ropes. Big, big oh. elbow right across the sternum. Devastating elbow. He's got this now. That's what we talk about earlier. That is a lot of mass. A lot of mass coming down across your chest. Choking right into the ropes. Vito, Vito's taking too much time jarring with the crowd. Back to, right back to the choke, holding the challenger down now. He has to the count of five. He does. This, that, this is smart wrestling right here. That is championship wrestling. That is a championship advantage right there. And now Vito just unloading on Gatson. Big right hand, and Brandon Gatson is stuck in those ropes. He is stuck in a very, very precarious position. The referee needs to help him. Vito's gonna help him. The referee can't get involved. Oh, and a big chop. Would you want to get chopped by Vito? Absolutely not. Brandon Gatson's in all sorts of trouble right now. Chop my beauty. I like my nipples right where they're at. Ready guess with the short jump. Oh! oh. What, the what, what, down on the mat. what was that? I want to say that Gaston is going for a cross body, but he didn't so much momentum that he turned the gold inside out. Nevertheless, both men are down and the referee is starting to send a 10 count. That was like a car wreck right in the middle of the ring. You know, I do not think the crowd is going to chat for me. Brandon blocked the right hand. Now he's holding. Right hand. Oh! Pushes the back of the corner. Brandon! Brandon Gatson is looking up. He's a house of fire, ladies and gentlemen. Series of right hands and a punch in the face. Where did all that Shoots come from? The corner. Look at the ring move when Vito hit the corner. Gatson. Where's he gonna go? Cartwheel. Oh! oh he hit the rim. Oh, he hit the rim. Oh, he should be disqualified for that, for attacking the atomic, referee. Reverse atomic drop. You can't do no, that to the official. Over. Gets it. What's he going to do? Gets it with a beautiful DDT. Beautiful floater. We have the referee. We have the referee. Four, five, six, seven. And they're calling for another you referee. Can, He's calling for a referee. You can we cover him. You can, you can cover him all day long. You knocked out the ref. What do you expect, Madsen? What's, what's, what's the what's going on? on? There is it. Oh, what is this? He's not the official. No! He's not, he he is, is not the official one. for this matchup. This Whoa. isn't right. He's got a referee shirt on. Chris, that's... And now, that's trying to raise... Can wait. anybody just put on a referee shirt and be the official in the match? I guess. Vito's getting it back. Madsen's already back up. The referee is still down. Well, the original referee is still down in the corner. But... Chris Nasty is our new referee. Danny Rana. No, Vito catches him. Look at the power. Big knock on the corner. Oh, and look at Gatson. He's going out of the corner with the lariat. Wow. There you go, Vito. Vito, step, take a step outside. Taking Vito's head off. Vito doing the smart thing, rolling outside the ring, knowing that he cannot lose that title outside the ring. Brendan Gatson is going to have to go outside the ring, get that massive, massive man, and throw him back in that ring. Shut your mouth right now! 
Take your time, Vito. Take your time. Where is Gassi going? Gassi! What is this? Oh! What is he doing? That was that crazy! Is special from Gassi! Oh my god, that what was crazy! Beautiful! Gassi got all of it, but what does it mean? Does he have enough to get Vito back into the ring and pin him? Chris has started the, the referee has started the count. We have one. Two. Neither man. Well, Gats is stirring now. Gats is getting back to his feet. Vito, just stay down there. You're fine. One would have to think if Vito was smart, he would do exactly that. Heading for the hills again. Oh! What a shot! I'm trapped. Gats has got Vito ran across those, those, those chairs. What is he doing? I'm not sure, but Vito is in a world of trouble right now. Why did the referee Vito. stop counting? Well, Gats is back on the ring, but he's broken the count now. Where is Gats? Oh! Elbow drop to Vito across the chair, on the line across the chairs. Oh, looks like Gats had hurt himself in that one, too. I don't think that was a good decision. Those are the risks you take when you do something like that. And you have... Now the fans are trying to revive the referee as well. The referee is still down in the corner. Chris Nasty is still trying to get the two men back into the ring to finish the match. The crowd, the crowd is now standing up following this man. This carnage does go to show just how much this championship means to both men. What an amazing, amazing match. And both are back up on their feet now. Let's see if they can get oh, it back into the ring. Right hand to Vito. Gaston throws Vito back in the ring. That's where he needs him. Gaston follows now. Can he capitalize? Can he do what it takes to pin Vito? Is he going up to the top rope? Is he saying that? I think he's calling for it one more time. Oh, this is a risk. He's calling. Gaston's up at to the top. Gaston's up to the top. What is he not doing? What is he not doing? Oh, Enoch! he pushed him. Enoch with the referee's back turn. Enoch runs up and throws him into the off the top rope. Yeah, if the referee doesn't see it, it didn't happen. Never underestimate but the power once again, of the inline. Once again, Enoch interjecting himself in the match, showing why he is that X Factor. Now Vito's got to take advantage of this. If he hits this, it's going to be all academic. Big right hands from Vito. Gatson teetering up there. Gatson teetering. Vito hooking him up now. Going for a superplex. Right up the oh! Oh, the oh! Big delayed superplex. What a display of strength and power from Vito. How did that feel on Gatson's back? You know that Gatson. That Vito has been targeting Gats' back. Goes in. Big power slam off the finish whip. Vito says that's it. One, two, oh, two. How did he kick out of that? Sheer willpower. He couldn't get it done. Oh, Enoch can't believe it. I can't. I, I can't believe it either. Enoch well, is beside himself. Look at this. Brandon Gats oh, oh, is Vito a warrior. going up. Vito going to the second row now. <coughs> He's gonna crush him. Devastating. Two. Oh, oh, so oh so my God. Two. At the last millisecond, Brandon Gatson gets his shoulder off the mat. What does Vito have to do? I don't even think Vito knows at this point. He has hit he has hit Brandon with darn near everything he has, and Brandon still keeps coming at him. He is completely befuddled what to do in this match to end it. Well, right now he's going. He might be going to some sage advice from the enlightened one. That's a good thing to do. Vito now wait, waiting in the corner, waiting for Brandon to get up. Gats is slow, slow to get up. Vito just waiting. He's just waiting to bounce on him. There he comes. No, no. Oh! Blocked the kick and a kick of his own. Could that be it? 
Could that be it for Greg? Brendan gets it. Brendan gets it slowly, slowly crawling into the number one. Two over. Two. Two. That was and no Enoch is beside himself. There was no way that was going to be enough to take out the champ. Enoch seeing his main meal ticket flying out the window for a second right there. What a match. What an amazing match. Referee is starting to tag up. Both men are down. You have to realize that the first man to make it back to his feet is going to have the advantage. But which one is it going to be? And Enoch once again trying to get the crowd behind Vito, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, demonstrating just how much he cares about the, the, the wrestlers oh, in his stable. Stuck to the chin. These men. Oh, and a headbutt from Vito. These men are just. Oh, are just trading shots now. Oh, and a shot, and a shot. They're just hitting whatever they can get to. Oh, going for the sharpshooter. Can he wrap up those legs? Oh, he's, he's got, got it. The sharpshooter. He's got it locked he's in. Got him out. He's got it locked in. In the middle of the ring. In the center of the ring. Oh, Vito, what another choice by the feet. What is Enoch doing? Get Enoch, Enoch down. Enoch oh. down. About time. Enoch's part of this oh. match. Gatson needs to keep his hands to himself. Super kick by Gatson. Catch his video. Gatson can is finish he gonna pick him up. Yes. He does. He got it. Oh. Oh. He got it over. Oh. It's amazing. That was pretty impressive. After, Do it again. Do it again. After all the damage done to his back, he was able to get him up and over. Now with the. Hooks him up. No, Vito blocks it. Nope. Oh. Oh. Beautiful kicking DDT right there. Close over the cover. One, two, Enoch. Enoch is nasty. What is going on? What is this? <coughs> this has got to be a disqualification. He cannot touch the ref. Oh! Whoa, he just grabbed uh, uh, the ref. Whoa! Yeah. What is that. going on? Look at what Enoch is willing to do for Vito. Picks up it. Oh, oh. Sit down, powerball on Gatson. There's no referee. There's no, no referee. Oh, man. You Where's count, the referee? There is no referee. You can count to 100. Oh, Enoch's no. the one that hit that Gatson. lazy. Wait, that's a what lazy is, referee right there. What is Enoch doing? Oh. He's helping. He's helping the referee. Vito not picking up Brandon. Throws him off the rope. One more. Oh, oh, the second Powerball. one, there's no way. What is, what? No. He's helping. No. Oh, He's helping no. an assist. Not like that. He's helping the referee. No. No. That cannot be legal. The referee's hand hit the mat three times. One, two, three. We don't have anyone to announce the winner because he's beat up the ring announcer. That's okay. Enoch can take care of that too. And he's going to. Victory by the champ. Well, you don't have to like the way he did it, but you can't argue with the results. Vito Fratelli did, did, it will go down on the record book that he did defeat Brandon Gatson. In dominant fashion as well. Two sit down power bombs. Two sit down power bombs. And wait, 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 wait. wait. A the show, match is over. A show of respect. He's shaking his man. He's shaking the man's hand. Look at that. Oh, look at that. He's a gracious champ. Oh, low oh. blow. Yeah, oh. very gracious. Low blow. Well, there's limits. And he hits it with the belt. And a belt. Oh. This is uncalled for. You already beat the man. Leave him alone. This is absolutely uncalled for. Oh, see, he's trying to finish the this job here. This is a call for. Somebody 
to come out and stop this. And no one wants a piece of this. Don't get sickening over this thing. Brandon Gatson has just went through a hell of a match, and then he has a chance being attacked by Enoch and Vito, and they're still putting the boost to him. This is a... Somebody come out here and stop this. Somebody's gonna do something. Obviously, Gatson has no friends in the back. Here comes Joe Dredd! What is this? With a chair! And they scatter. Whoa. Well, if you remember... Oh, there it is. Whoa. And here comes Terex! Here comes Terex! But Joe's holding court in the middle of that ring with that chair. I don't think Joe knows what he's gotten himself into. I think he knows exactly. He wants the microphone. Joe has a point. Earlier that night, Vito came out and stuck his nose in Joe's business, and Joe's returning the favor now. And finally, Gadsden's back to his feet. Now, Gadsden's got the chair. So and of course, with a chair. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, Sour Patch Kids, who won the show? Listen up. I already told you who this is going to be. Hey, are you Kenobi? I'm looking at you. I'm up here. You live here in my business, Enoch. You live here in my life. I've got a challenge for you. Put your money where your mouth is. Next WWC event, three women or six men tag. You, you stupid idiot, want to be looking down for the walking meatball. You, definition of nothing, tell us, hey, hey, hey. And the stupid sound of match three. Like this is me, Jackson, and my boy Gus that you put up in the shop hospital, who I'm going to see after this. Executioner, I make the rules. If I win, I get a shot at your precious championship. Oh. What do you say? You want to be Godfather? You want to come one on one? You need Gatson and Gus? You think you got what it takes to be champion? I got a better question. Do you guys want to see that? Well, the people sure want to see it. I don't think these fans really want to see it. Why don't we just do it right now? Gats is ready to go after that match right now. Right now. This is not a sanctioned match. I don't think they care. Whoa! And look at him run. Vito cut the chair right on the leg. And Vito is in a... Vito's all alone. Oh, well, Enoch came back for his match. But you heard it, folks. Judge Joe Dredd made the challenge. Joe Dredd, Brandon Gatson, and Gus Parsons challenging Terex, the definition of pace. Vito Fratelli, the WWE Heavyweight Champion, and Enoch the Enlightened. But they are leaving with the belt. Vito still is the champ. You cannot deny that. Tonight, we hope you enjoyed yourself. We enjoyed ourselves. It was a great night of action. Stay tuned for all the information on the next show. We have two matches set. We'll have many, many more. We hope to see you there. Mr. James is going to be there. Will you? We'll all be there. And we hope you